Hey there, I am going to show you how to take a photo and add the Ken Burns effect to the image or photo that you are going to be using. Uh, and it's really simple, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Cool. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to select an image that we'd like to use. I decided to use for this tutorial a photo that I took of a bumblebee on a sunflower. Uh, Next thing we need to do is we need to figure out how we want to get this into our timeline. And we can do that one of two ways. We can either just kind of drag and drop it, or we can insert it into our timeline through our canvas. So once we have our image in our timeline, the next step that we are going to do is we need to tell the clip how long we want it to be. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to, let's call it, let's call it seven seconds. Cool, so that you saw it change the length of our clip um, just by typing in our selected seconds and uh, frames per second that we wanted the clip to be. So we are going to drag our playhead to the start of the clip uh, because wherever your playhead starts and wherever your playhead ends is where your motion will be added to your image. So I'm going to make sure that my playhead is at the start of my clip, which it is. You can also tell that it's the start of a clip by this little L shape here in the bottom left hand corner of your canvas box. Next we can uh, change the scale of our photo, which you know I don't like to see the black bars we have here and here. I like to make it nice and neat, so I'm going to change that just by changing the scale in my motions tab in my viewer. Uh, box or I can also use this little button to change it. It's it's whatever you're more comfortable with. So once I have that there, I am going to then hit Command K or I can hit this little button down here which will add motion keyframe. So I'm going to add motion keyframe and then uh, I'm going to add my second motion keyframe and so I click and drag my playhead to the end of my clip and I change the scale like I did before because I want to see the bumblebee just a little bit closer. Check out the pollen on his legs. It's pretty intense. And I'm going to center, try and center it up a little bit. I don't like things to be perfectly centered. I like them just a little off. And for a little artistic effect, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to twist the image just a little bit. And in order to... Uh, play some videos back or to play the clip back sometimes you have to render uh, your project after you add a Ken Burns effect to it or motion keyframe as Final Cut Pro calls it uh, my file size is not large enough to render but if you're using some things uh, that are HD it might it might take a little bit longer to render so let's take a look at it now and see what it looks like And cool, that is the tutorial for how to use the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro 7.